cables aren't just for knitters anymore, my yarn friends. Today, we're demystifying those stunning twisted stitches that look like magic but are much simpler than you think. We're talking beginner-friendly techniques that'll have you rocking gorgeous cable patterns in a flash. Hi my loves, I'm Tony of Teal Yarn Crafts and I invite you to grab a six millimeter crochet hook and some worsted weight yarn and let's get twisty. Like this video and subscribe for more crafty adventures and crochet inspiration. This video is one of many helpful tutorials to accompany the Crochet Amour Sampler, a beautiful 20 block afghan that teaches new crochet stitches and techniques with every square. To get the row by row instructions for this square and find out how to make the entire sampler blanket, visit the link in the description. Just a quick disclaimer, if you are making the cable square of the Crochet Amour blanket, just please keep in mind that this is a demo that has worked on many less stitches just for the sake of this tutorial. You can then take the things that you learn in this demo and apply them to the full pattern, which has worked over 32 stitches. In my case, I'm working over just 22 stitches. For my sample today, I am working with foundation half double crochet stitches that creates a nice stretchy base to our fabric whereas regular chains can sometimes tighten up a little bit. So if you have trouble um, with the consistency of your chains, foundation stitches might be a good way to go. So let me show you how to do those. We're gonna start with a slip knot and place that on our hook. And from here, we need to chain two, just one and two. So we're gonna start with a yarn over. We're gonna find that first chain that we made, insert into that chain, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now we want to yarn over and pull through one, but just make sure you keep that yarn over pretty loose because we'll need to work back into this chain that we make. So we just yarn over, pull through one, and then we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three of the loops on our hook to complete our half double crochet stitch. Now this is that first yarn over, pull through one, that chain one that we made. We need to yarn over and insert under these two loops. Sorry, these two loops. <laughs> So we're going to yarn over, use the tip of our hook to shimmy under those two loops, just like that. Yarn over, pull up a loop. We need to yarn over, again, pull through one to start, then yarn over and pull through all three. Yarn over, insert under the two loops of that chain, just like that. Yarn over and pull up that loop. Yarn over, pull through one, then yarn over, pull through three. And we're going to continue doing that, in this case, until we have 22 half doubles made. So let me make just one more, we'll walk through it together. Yarn over, insert under the two loops of that chain. Yarn over, pull up the loop. Yarn over, pull through all three for the half double. Now when I lift my loop up and out, I'm gonna count the Vs here at the top where my yarn is coming out from. So I have one, two, three, four, five half doubles so far, and I need to work until I have 22 total. Now, if you prefer to use chains, you'll want to chain 23, then half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and each chain across until you have 22 total half doubles. I'm gonna keep working on my foundation stitches. Join me back here when you have the right number of stitches as well. My foundation stitches are now complete, and you can see I have a nice stretchy base to the bottom of my work. It's just kind of what I prefer. I'm one of those people that struggle with making my chains consistent, so foundation stitches to the rescue, okay? So now let's move into row one of the pattern. We're going to chain one and turn, and we just need to single crochet all the way across. So we're just going into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, all the way across. Alrighty, I've got all of my singles now done. So we're going to chain one and turn our work. Now we're moving into row two, and this is going to be the front side of our work, and this is where we're gonna start placing our post stitches and really kind of get into our pattern. We need to make three half double crochets. So I have my chain one here. I'm going to go to the stitch there at the base of that chain one, place my first half double there. There's one, two, and three. Now I need to do four front post double crochets. So we're not going to work around the posts of these single crochets. Instead, we're gonna drop down to the posts of these half doubles. If you're not sure where to start, what I like to do is count those half doubles, right? So we made three half doubles already on this row, so we've worked one, two, three. We've worked these three stitches. 
So our four half doubles are gonna be worked over one, two, three, four stitches right here. Okay, so I like to go down those two rows below, find where I'm meant to go, just to make sure I'm in the right spot. So I'm gonna yarn over first, and I wanna make sure I get around the body of this stitch. So I'm going down here and up here, right around the body of that stitch. And as I complete that double crochet, I wanna keep that tension relatively loose just to make sure we get back up to the correct height of our row. So there's the first of our front post double crochets. Here's the second. Again, making sure I get around the body of that stitch. There's two. Here's three. Make sure I'm in the right spot. There we go. And four. There we go. So if I take a look at the stitches behind the post stitches that I just made, I made four post stitches, so I need to skip four single crochets back here. This is the single crochet that's worked, so I'm skipping one, two, three, four. So my next half double crochet is gonna go into this stitch right here. So let me tighten that loop back down, give it another count, make sure I'm in the right spot. One, two, three, four are skipped, so my first half double goes here. There's one, two, and three. So now I need to work two front post stitches. So I'm skipping one, two, three half doubles because those are what are worked up here. So my first post stitch needs to go around this stitch right here. There's one. And one around the next is two. Don't worry, this will be way easier on subsequent rows. This is the trickiest one of the bunch, I promise you. So now we need to work three half doubles. So I'm gonna skip one, two stitches behind what's worked. My next half double is gonna go here. So there's one, two, and three. And now I need to do four front post doubles. So these are the two that were worked by my front post doubles before. I'm skipping one, two, three half doubles and I need to work my first front post around this one. So here's one. Here's two. Here's three. And four. And I'm gonna end my row with three half doubles. And since I'm at the end, I can clearly see one, two, three stitches left. So we've got one, two, three. Whew, deep breath. Relax those shoulders, roll those shoulders a little bit, relax your jaw, you did it. And it doesn't look like much right now, but we're really kind of creating the base. So for all of our wrong side rows, we're just gonna single crochet across. This is a great time to make sure you still have the correct count, which should be 22 stitches. So we're just gonna single crochet in each stitch across, and we're grabbing just the stitches here on the front, not any of those skip stitches back here. So just be careful to grab only those stitches there on the front. Because these stitches on the back are skipped. And now we're gonna chain one and turn our work. Lovely, and we are back in the right place. So now from here, we're going to start the actual cabling. So we need to place three half double crochet right here at the beginning. So we did our chain one, find that stitch right at the base, and we're gonna do one, two, three half doubles, just like that. Now we're at our post stitches. So we need to make our cable, and our cable is to skip the first two stitches, work front post trebles around these other two, and then go back and work front post trebles around the two that we skipped. So we'll yarn over twice. We're gonna grab the post of that third stitch 
of those four front post stitches, pull up the loop and complete the treble crochet like normal. So yarn over, pull through two, two, and two again. And the trick to cables, especially simple cables like this, is to keep your tension on those long post stitches very tight. So there was the first of our front post trebles, and here's the second. Okay, now we're gonna go back and work these other two. So I'm gonna yarn over twice, grab the first one, complete the treble, and then I'm gonna yarn over twice and go back and get the other one. Just push it to the forward so you can see it. And now we've crossed those stitches and created our first cable. Now we need to half double crochet each of the next three. There's one, two, and three. And the next two are just post stitches. So around those post stitches, we're going to just do a front post double crochet, not trebles here. Since we're not crossing anything, we don't need these to be quite so tall. So this is just some decorative little post stitches that are gonna go in between our cables. Half double crochet each of the next three stitches. One, two, oop, I think I went over one too far. There we go. One, two, and three. So now we're at another set of four of our post stitches so we can practice our cable again. So remember, we'll yarn over twice. We're gonna find the third stitch of that set of four and complete a front post treble crochet. And we're gonna do the same for that fourth stitch there. We're gonna set up for our treble, go back and grab the first of those four. So the first of those skipped stitches. Yarn over two and grab the second of those skipped stitches, this one right here. So we're going around the body of that stitch to grab that. And we're gonna finish with three half double crochets. One, two, three. And now my favorite part of the pattern, <laughs> just placing single crochets all the way across. So we're gonna single crochet in each stitch across. And again, as you go, it's a good idea to kind of count your stitches and make sure you have the correct number. You might have to finagle things a bit, stretch your work, open up those stitches, just to make sure you're getting into the right ones. And we'll single crochet all the way across. Alrighty, so that is the four row repeat. So we'll have a post row, single crochet on the wrong side, and then a cable row, single crochet on the wrong side. So let's do our post row again together. So that's gonna start with three half double crochets. One, two, three. And for our post row, we're not going to cross any stitches, just like when we did our post stitches here. We're just gonna front post double crochet around each of these four stitches. So I've got my yarn over, and first you kinda wanna orient yourself, right? So we crossed our stitches over each other. So we're at one, two, three, four, and we wanna keep that in order to make sure that our cable still presents itself. So we're gonna grab the first stitch, then go around and grab the second stitch, then we'll grab this third stitch, oop, for a double, and this fourth stitch for a double, just like that. Half double crochet each of the next three. One, two, three. Front post double crochet these two post stitches here. So going right around that stitch, there's one and two. Half double three. There we go. One, two, three, and then we need to front post each of the stitches of this cable. So remember, just front post doubles, we're gonna grab the first stitch, the second stitch, the third stitch, and the fourth stitch. 
And as always, we end with three half doubles. One, two, and three. Chain one, and as for all wrong side rows, we're just gonna single crochet across. Getting towards the end of my row here, one more single into this last stitch. Lovely. Chain one, turn the work. So if we kind of flatten things out a little bit, you can start to see those cables emerging. This is something you're absolutely going to have to block because it's gonna curl in all the directions. We're putting a lot of tension on the front side of this work. So if you really wanna let those cables shine, be prepared to block this at the end. So next, let's move on to our cable row. So we've done our chain one and we start with three half doubles. One, two, and three. Now we need to do our cable. Remember we yarn over twice. We're gonna find those four post stitches we made on the last row. And remember we're gonna start with this third stitch of those four and put a front post treble around that stitch. So there's one and a front post treble around the fourth stitch. There's two. Then we're gonna go back, open your work up however you need to, and find those first two post stitches right there. Grab the first one. So there's the third step of our cable and grab that second stitch to finish the cable. Just take your time here, make sure you're getting around the correct stitches. Now we're gonna half double crochet three. One, two, and three. And now we have these post stitches. Remember those always just get front post doubles. Those are just some decorative, nice little posts that go in between our cables. Half double crochet each of the next three again. One, two, there you are, and three. And we're at another cable, so I can see my one, two, three, four post stitches. I'm going to front post treble around three and four, then go back and front post treble around one and two. So yarn over twice to start, grab the third post, and the fourth post. Then go back and grab the first post, and the second post. And we finish off with three half doubles. One, two, and three. Do you see that cable starting to pop out? So every time you do that twist, you get a little bit more definition. And we've got this nice kind of breather in the middle of just those regular post stitches. So you're gonna continue to repeat those four rows. So single across the back, and then we have a post row, single across the back, and then we have a cable row. Continue on, and I'm gonna put a little bit more fabric on my swatch, then we'll come back and compare notes and make sure we're in the right place. I am finishing up my wrong side row after one of my cable rows. Give it a little chain one and turn, and this is what my square looks like so far. It's so pretty. I just love the texture of these cables, even though, I'll be honest, they're a little bit of a pain in the butt to do, but totally worth it for an outcome that looks like this. Okay, so to finish this off, we need to repeat our post row. So remember that's three half doubles. One, two, three. And then putting a front post double crochet around each of the four stitches here in this cable. So here's one, here's two, kind of tucked behind, there's three and four. So front post double crochet around each of those four stitches. There's two, here's three, and four. Half double in each of the next three. One, two, three. Front post double around each of these post stitches here. One, and two. Half double three. One, two, three. Whoop three, there you are, and front post around each of these four stitches. One, come here two, there you are. Two, three, oop, and four. And 
and half double in each of these last three here. One, two, and three. Fabulous. Okay, so at this point, we can fasten off. It's gonna leave a longish tail here. And that's where our square would end. But as you can see, it's still really wrinkly and kind of icky looking. So I think now is a good time for us to just kind of clean things up a little bit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is weave in this end here. That's good. Snip that off. And since we created so much tension here on the front side of our work, I'm going to block this square face down and it's gonna help alleviate some of the curling that's happening. To start my blocking process, I'm gonna grab one of my blocking boards and I turn my square face down like that. And while I'm pinning this down, I'm gonna start heating up my garment steamer. So once this flashing light is solid, that means I'm ready to start blocking. I've got a bunch of blocking pins here. So I'm gonna use those pins to start tacking this down. And as I go, I'm gonna try and get as even of a base as possible without overstretching my square. So I'm just gently guiding my stitches into place and pinning them down, just like that. Here we go, that feels square-ish, <laughs> close enough. So my steamer is all warmed up. So let's start the steaming process. And what I'm essentially doing is gently steaming the whole thing and I want it to be damp to the touch because we want to make sure the steam permeates to the front of the fabric and softens up those stitches. So I like to go over this several times. So that feels good and damp. I am working with acrylic yarn, so I know it's going to dry pretty quickly. I'm gonna let that dry fully. I'm gonna come back, steam it one more time, let that dry, and then we'll take the pins out. After two rounds of steam and dry time in between, my square is completely dry to the touch, so I'm ready to take it off and see if we were able to deal with the curl. Okay, moment of truth, here we go. Flip that bad boy over and look at that. It's nice and flat, oh my gosh, it looks so good. <laughs> look at those cables. And by steaming it this way, it does flatten the cables just a little bit, but I think if anything, it adds a bit more definition to the cables. It makes them a little bit easier to see and it also gives it a little bit of smoothness, but you can block it face down or face up. It doesn't matter, it's going to work either way. Wow, that turned out so lovely. Every time I make something with cables, I'm like, oh, I should make more stuff with cables. And then I just don't because they're cables. But this was fun. And thank you so much for joining me for the tutorial. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and like this video and consider subscribing to my channel because I do stuff like this all the time. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.